This is code.org CS Discoveries or Computer Science Discoveries. And we're working on Unit 2, which is the Web Development Unit. We're on Lesson 3, Intro to HTML, and Level 9, using HTML tags. All right, let's see what they're going to have us work on. Debug. Fix the broken tags. This simple web page has some issues, which are preventing the content from being displayed correctly. Identify and fix the issues. This practice is also called debugging your code. Do this. Fix the broken code so that the web page displays correctly. Compare the problems you fix with your neighbor. Hmm. So if I look down here, well, I'm not really sure. That looks kind of strange. So what is a paragraph element? Paragraphs are marked by opening P and closing P tags. So I guess this shouldn't have it because that would be an opening tag. So that's a mistake. Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that seems right. Let's see what happens. Oh. Let's go ahead and have our closing tag be here. Notice though, before I fill this out, why does some code why does the code sometimes turn pink? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. See how this is pink here? It's important to notice this early. It's super useful to understand this. Web Labs is programmed to automatically detect some mistakes in your in the HTML. When it notices a mistake, it turns the code pink, like this. The mistake might be in pink, or it might be somewhere before the pink code. You'll need to carefully debug to find your mistake. So right now, the mistake isn't actually this pink area. It's up here, because I haven't closed this paragraph tag yet. And ta-da, notice that the pink disappears. And it's just trying to let us know that we have an issue with our code. So I think, was that the only... Oh, wait a minute, this sentence should be on its own. So should this one, aha. So I guess we need to close a tag here. And let's see if that, oh, does that not separate it yet? Interesting. We have some more pink code, meaning there's a mistake somewhere. What that mistake is going to be, well, it looks like we need to have a starting tag. So now we have a starting paragraph tag and then a closing one. Starting, closing, starting, closing. And I think, no more pink in our code. That looks good. So let's uh, go ahead and move on to, well, lesson four.